Here on San Diego 6 News in the morning, we haven't talked about foster children in our community and the families who take them in. Well, one organization goes above and beyond. They find forever homes for the most fragile foster children in our county. And this morning, they need some help. We have Teresa Stivers from Walden Family Services, as well as Stella Gonzalez, who has fostered and adopted many of these children. Ladies, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank I do you. appreciate it. Teresa, let me start with you. Talk about Walden Family Services. What is it that you do? We're a full-service foster care and adoption agency, and we specialize in working with children who have developmental disabilities and special health care needs and finding them forever families. Now talk about um, some of the families that take these children in because you were mentioning and we'll talk to Estelle in just a moment here. Some of these children are in wheelchairs, some of them are dealing with PTSD, uh, things like autism, so the commitment is quite great. It absolutely is. You need a lot of patience, a lot of love and that's the kind of foster family and adoptive family that we're looking for. There are so many children out there who need wonderful homes. Um, even for a short while until they can be reunited with their biological families. And it's families like Estella that really step up and take these kids in and show them what it's like to be in a loving family that really makes a difference. All right, Estella, I know you've got a full house right now. You have uh, four children. I have four. You have three biological daughters who are grown and now out of the home. You have four children from Walden Family Services. Talk about the children who are in your home right now, your children. Uh, Angel, our, our uh, 16 year old is adopted. So there's three children with Walden Family Services, although once a Walden child, always a Walden child. Yeah. And uh, we just uh, love them. They are great. You have two girls and two boys. Two girls and two boys. How old are the girls? The girls are 17 and 16. 17 and 16. Uh -huh. You're mentioning that your oldest daughter is in a wheelchair. Uh -huh. Your 16-year-old daughter is Autistic. dealing with autism, uh -huh. and then you have boys ages 13 and 11? I do. Uh -huh. So do you just wear a referee shirt and a whistle <laughs> all day long? How do you <laughs> handle all this? No, they are really good kids. I've learned so much from them, and uh, you know, we do have our challenges, but they are minor challenges. Right, mm -hmm. and you realize what these children have come from, some of them with the tragic backgrounds, some of them dealing with medical problems or developmental problems. Talk about um, sort of f folks out there that are considering doing this on the fence, if they're, they can take on this sort of commitment. What is life like for you? Uh, it's busy, but uh, very rewarding. Um, we went into foster care uh, not really knowing if we wanted to do it, but the training was wonderful. Even if we didn't go into foster care, just the training itself is just great because they, I mean, they just bring out all these things that I, I didn't know about or didn't learn about as a parent. Right, uh -huh. sort of getting that extra schooling, if you will, on how to deal with fragile children. That's yes. just one of the things you guys right. do, Teresa. Right. You also provide funding and support uh, during the entire time that the foster child's living with that family, is that right? Absolutely, because we want this to be the best experience possible for the family. So, for instance, when um, Estella brought in the young girl that she mentioned in the wheelchair, her whole house needed to be re renovated to make it wheelchair friendly. And we had a very generous donor who came in and allowed us to, um, to make those changes to her home. And then, as she was mentioning earlier, during the holidays, making sure that they have all the gifts during the, the school year when they're going back to school, that they have new backpacks, school supplies, clothing, etc. Mm -hmm. And all of that is made possible through the generosity of donors throughout San Diego County. Now people are wondering, boy, I, I would like to at least be a donor to this organization. And we have a great event coming up on Tuesday where you can do that. In fact, Tuesday, mark your calendars, this Tuesday, April 28th, the Pomplamoose Grill up in Del Mar, 6 to 9. They're having a great dinner. In fact, this is one of the best chefs in the entire yes. county. They're having a great dinner. They're having wine pairings. They're having dessert, music, an entire program for you. If you can't get out there to enjoy the dinner, will you be a sponsor of it? You can do that as well. Even your company, your organization can. WaldenFamily.org is the website. Again, WaldenFamily.org. If it was not for this uh, organization in our community, there's no telling what would happen to so many children, Teresa. Yes, sadly, they, they would end up at institutions. Oh, it's tough to hear, but I'm glad for you guys and what you're doing, and Estella for opening yeah, up not you. only your thank home, you. but your heart as well. Thank you again mm -hmm. for being a mother to all of these children. Mm -hmm. We do appreciate it. All right, you know, we'll put the information for the event on our website, sandiego6.com. Go there. Get your boss in on it, too. If you've got a boss of a company or an organization, let them know that this is taking place as well. All right, thanks, ladies. Thank you. Thank you.